Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I have ventured outside into the cold to do this video, hence why I have the big jacket and the hood over my head, which I wouldn't normally have. I've actually just been to the cafe and I've eaten a tuna jacket potato, which I've left here because there is a cat that comes past and he'll eat that. So you might get a cat sighting finishing off my tuna potato, but don't worry. If he doesn't, I'll take that with me. I'm not just gonna leave that there. So don't think that I am littering. I am not, I'm feeding the wildlife because they are strays. They don't belong to anyone as far as I know. Uh, there's a few cats around here. So I actually had one that was peeking its head up the whole time I was eating. So anyway, moving on. Sales have been absolutely insane in the last few days. Um, I think the last four days I've sold uh, like a thousand pounds worth of stock which for me is really good so that means that a week my seven day total if that carried on would be something around like 1300 1400 something like that which is really good for me I know some people do 1400 on the weekend but uh, unfortunately I'm not at that point yet uh, but for me to take that much in the last uh, couple of days is really good so I'm going to go through the last two days worth of sales it is was it today thursday uh yeah thursday uh so i'm going to be going over wednesday and tuesday's sales um yeah so if you watch the last video i think the last video is already out uh I'm talking about the leaflets if you haven't seen that video i've not released that video then i'm sorry but in that video whether it's already out or it's coming out next uh, i did talk about a lot of the stock and how i got it that has sold in today's video. So we're gonna start off. Uh, I'm gonna try and hold the camera like this, which means I have some room for the images. Uh, yeah. So I have just actually sold um, this morning, and I wasn't supposed to be doing this morning sales, but it's right here, so I might as well. Uh, so far this morning, I've sold two PlayStation 1 games, so Tomb Raider 3 and a Tekken 3 for 18 pounds and 99 pence. That's actually going off to Greece, so they did pay quite a bit of shipping on that. And before people ask, yes, I do have GSP on as well, just it's really expensive. Uh, so I like to, excuse me, hiccups. I like to set my own postage as well, which covers uh, tracking and all of that good stuff. So it just ends up working out cheaper for the customer, which means that in the end, I get more uh, sales to foreign countries because they don't just have to pay with GSP. Okay, moving on. I have sold a Lynx Africa shower gel set for £15. Uh, I don't know whether I want to let you into this little secret. Maybe soon. I'm not going to tell you about that just yet. Uh, I've sold Tekken, the original Tekken, for £8 on uh, PlayStation 1. Uh, Lego Dimensions Xbox One starter pack. So that's the disc, the game and the lego portal that you build and that has sold for 39 pounds and 99 pence that's a really nice one um i sold a london 2012 olympics board game it was brand new and sealed and i got 15.99 so that was a real nice one um i sold a lego complete box uh of lego Do the dozer compactor there's a technic set so it's not normal lego it's like the one that has like the the moving parts and all of that and that sold for 17 pounds plus postage uh sold quite a bit of um quite a bit of uh, games here so i'm going to roll through these quite quickly uh lego jurassic world on the xbox 360 for seven pounds uh plus postage uh resident evil 2 on playstation 1 sold for 19.99 uh so yeah another great playstation 1 game uh, I sold Athens 2004 on the PlayStation 2 for 399. Um, ah, this is a good one. The Sony PlayStation 1 for 99 pounds and 99 pence. Now this was boxed. Uh, really lovely condition console, but the reason why this sold for more than a normal PlayStation 1, it was the audio file console. Uh, so you want to look out on the back of the PlayStation 1 console. There's like an extra two ports and a little pop out case. Uh, which is where you can plug in all of like your audio equipment and stuff so you can have PlayStation 1 audio coming through all of your expensive equipment uh, which is why that one sold for £100 and it would normally only sell for maybe 30 if it was a normal play, uh, PlayStation 1 uh, but it was in like mint condition as well it ran silent it was ridiculous I, I was so tempted to keep it for myself because it's very rare you come across one like that 
uh, in the box, two controllers, memory uh, cards, all of that good stuff. Um, yeah, and all of the PlayStation 1 games that you're seeing sell today came with that bundle as well when I purchased it. So, uh, and I believe we still have like two thirds of them left to go as well. Uh, so yeah, moving on, we sold a DS Nintendogs game for six pound and fifty pence. Is that cat back yet? No, not yet. Maybe he'll turn up. I don't know. Uh, I sold a two small collectible Star Wars coffee cups. They're for like shots of uh, espresso or something like that for ten pounds. Uh, someone actually bought six items off me, much like the lady did the other week. Uh, some guy bought. Uh, six items, so I'm going to run through them. I don't have the prices, but I have the uh, in the included price of everything uh, So he actually spent a hundred pounds on a chess set that I had it's like a handmade one from uh, Greece, I believe yeah uh, So we spent a hundred pounds on that. I'll try and put the individual photos on the screen I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that, uh, but everything else came to 19 pounds So he spent a total of 119 the chess set was 100 and all of the other stuff was really cheap so it added up to an extra 19 pounds so the other stuff was the two other uh, vintage boxes of wax candles that i had left over he bought four uh, reusable clay wax pots uh, so you put the the wax in and then you put it on a burner and then it melts and smells nice and stuff uh, he bought a vintage uh jointed bear and a silk tie so yeah he spent 119 pounds on that and uh, yeah, the um, the chess set with the pieces came to like nine, um, how much was it? It was like 10 or 11 kilos. So I had to send the board on its own as one parcel and then everything else of the chess pieces went in its other, other box. So again, uh, two boxes worth went out. Um, so I'm hoping that the chess board does not smash because it is made of like stone. Uh, so it's been wrapped really well with uh, bubble wrap and then it's gone in between like a massive card wrap and then I put more card on top and it's gone into a box with more wrapping and padding so fingers crossed uh, it's not gonna break but you never know you, you never know like something could drop on it and it could fracture and then I'm out a hundred pounds but um, it's the work it's the risk I'm willing to take to be honest uh, I spent 10 pounds on that chess set so really if it breaks i'm not really out 100 pounds i'm just out 10 pounds technically well i am out 100 pounds because i have i earn that money but anyway moving on someone picked up two uh two puzzles from me the other day two christmas scenes for 20 pounds and 75 pence they obviously didn't pay postage because they collected uh, that was a really nice sale uh three pounds for a fifa 15 on playstation 4 i don't even know where that came from because uh, I don't buy uh, FIFA games at all, unless it's like the expensive one, like the last console one, uh, which is actually worth a little bit more. But yeah, I don't pick them up, so I don't know why I would have FIFA 15. But anyway, it's sold uh, for pretty much nothing. Um, next up, we have a Guitar Hero wireless controller for $19.99. So I had a few left, so I upped my prices. Uh, they were down on sale for like 15 and they were selling really quick. So I stopped that sale and I put them back up to £20. Obviously, with Christmas coming, I want to get full price on them. Uh, so that has gone. Uh, Resident Evil on PlayStation 1 has sold for £14.99, uh, which is really nice. Uh, Nintendo Wii Just Dance with the instructions has gone for £2. Not a great sell uh, right there, but it is gone. It's out of the door, which is nice. I normally bundle them up in like sets of three. Uh, like uh, Just Dance 1, 2, and 3 uh, because I think 4 is the expensive one. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, I like to bundle them when I can. Uh, I just didn't have the other ones. I think it's raining. No, it can't be raining. There's no clouds or something's pissing on me or something. I don't know. Uh, next up, we have sold the Die Hard Trilogy on PlayStation 1. That was one of the least profitable PlayStation 1 games out of the ones I had and that has gone for £5. This list just goes on forever, guys. I'm telling you, I sold so much. Uh, tech Deck, uh, a set of stairs for the Tech Decks. They've gone for £11.50. pence. Ah, I sold a Xbox 360 Slim console. Um, I spent £30 on this bundle, and it came with a ton of games. Um, and I got the console and a few games here with the Kinect sensor. has gone for 60 so I've already doubled my money. And I got like 20 uh, games with this and like half of them were Lego games and they've all sold for like eight to nine pounds 
each so i i've like tripled my money quadrupled my money on this pickup uh, for sure um there was also an extra controller which is just sold underneath i just noticed it's right there uh this extra white controller came with it uh and that went for 11.99 so i've made so much money on this bundle it's ridiculous uh next up just dance 2 on the wii again not really great profit in that two pounds 70 uh but we move on crash bandicoot 2 for the playstation 1 again from that bundle that i picked up uh sold for 11 pounds uh next up we have sold a franklin pop-up football goal uh, i guess this is a christmas present it's super cold right now so i don't see why anyone would want to be playing football in their garden but anyway that has sold for 20 the funny thing is this was listed throughout the entire summer uh, obviously people weren't going out and doing stuff as much in summer due to the stuff that was going on i guess because <clears throat> no one picked it up but now it's winter and people are buying it so there we go uh, I sold that camera from my last charity shop video I did for £13.50. I'm sure this thing's going to come back uh, as broken or something. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The only testing I could do was put the batteries in. And when I did that, like, you could hear the motor, like, interact. And it was, like, looking for the film and stuff. So I'm not sure whether that's normal. I did let them know uh, that that was how it was working. And they purchased it. So hopefully that's correct. Uh, but I've not used a film camera in uh, in donkey's years, so I wouldn't know uh, if that's the case. But if it comes back, it comes back. I'll just give them a refund, to be honest, at that point. Um, next up, we sold the Cube on the Nintendo Wii. This is a little bit of one to look out. £24 uh, on that one. That was a really nice one. Uh, we got £8.99 for the vintage uh, tomato soup bowl cup mug kind of thingy, uh, which is nice. Um... 40 pounds on the next one it was the rare eclipse uh, box set of books um and i had it up for 60 someone offered me 40 i thought why not uh take 40 quid for it is the one that i picked up at the car boot sale brand new for 20 pence uh so i made a killing on that absolute killing from 20 pence uh to 40 pounds what even is that it's like five times for a pound so 50 100 200 times my money um that's ridiculous 200 times my money could you imagine getting 200 times your money on everything oh that would be nice oh that would be nice um i sold an xbox 360 power pack for 12 pounds i think that was my last one there might be one more left i say this all the time but i forget uh we got some of those lego can you can you quiet down please i'm trying to record it i have told you already I won't tell you again, crows. God. It's normally the squirrels, now it's the crows, the blimmin' crows. Uh, I sold an Avatar board game for £4.50. That one has sat around for ages. The bells are ringing now as well. I don't know if you can hear. Okay, they've stopped. Uh, we sold two Lego Marvel, uh, Lego Marvel sorry, uh, for £7 and a Lego Pirates of the Caribbean for £6.99. Uh, Nintendo Super Mario Bros. Donkey Kong character for £5. This list goes on and on <laughs> and on. I sold so much in the last few days. This is ridiculous. Uh, Riptide Tech Deck uh, set of eight fingerboards for £10. Monopoly Hasbro Jr. board, £7.50. Uh, I'm just going to quick fire these now at this point. Uh, I sold the vintage uh, ice skating uh, skates for £19.99. Uh, Sonic Unleashed on the 360 for £6.50. Uh, I sold a Super Mario World toy Luigi Bros for £3.60. It's getting really cold. <laughs> I'll do a few more and then I'll, I'll finish because there's so many. Uh, I sold a Flying Scotsman uh, puzzle for uh, £8. I sold the uh, I sold a antique 1919 imagine that a bible from 1919 i sold it for 10 pounds they never paid um i don't know so that'll be relisted uh i sold a pair of air max nike trainers for 25 pounds and that is as far as i'm gonna go because it's getting super cold and uh, it doesn't look like that cat cat came back for any more food so i'm gonna have to uh clean that up i have the bag here and all of that so i'm gonna clean that up um this is actually a massive compost heap here so i could chuck the actual spud 
and then they can come and munch on that and if they don't then it will just disintegrate into the compost heap uh, but i'll take the foam home with me anyway um i don't even know like how these cats eat around here because no one feeds them as far as i'm aware so they must go scavenging in like bins and stuff so i'll leave that potato i'm pretty sure cats can eat potato uh if not then i apologize but it's food at the end of the day um so yeah thank you everyone for watching i really appreciate it uh, i probably have some more videos coming up soon i have recorded some stuff i just not got around to editing it as you can tell uh, i've had a lot of sales a lot of parcels going out and i am a one-man show so there's only much so much stuff i can do uh right now the plans are there's actually a car boot sale uh for december the 3rd which is the date after the lockdown is supposedly ending uh whether that happens or not uh, is left to be seen so uh anyway thank you for watching and uh, i will see you guys in the next video bye Love.